Hello and welcome back to Financial Options with Thumper. And today we're going to be talking about the Analyze tool in Thinkorswim. Uh, Tastyworks and E-Trade have similar things that you can use. You can get access to this from making an account with Ameritrade. I think you can do this with a paper account and you can download the platform. If not, you can make a real money account, throw $5 in, and then you can use all this same setup that I have. Anyway, have you ever been confused by all the fancy names that people throw out there? Iron condors, credit spreads, put spreads, butterflies, triple humpback whales. Don't let that throw you off. All these words are just fancy ways of saying some kind of combination of puts and calls. Like It all comes down to puts and calls. You're buying calls, you're selling, the same thing with puts. So what I wanted to show you is something I used a lot when I was trying to learn how all the calls and puts work together and what forms these different strategies. And that is the Analyze tool in Thinkorswim. So first I'm going to populate this with a trade that I put on my shopping list this week. And I'm going to do that by saying I'm going to sell the Netflix 460. And once you have this up, what you can do is before you submit the trade, you can right click it and click Analyze Trade. And this will take you to a nice graph that'll show you how this option should behave throughout its lifetime. So the first thing I want to point out is on the bottom here, this is the price of the stock. So in this case, Netflix. On the left here is your profit. The blue line is whatever date you have set up here. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that this is set to the date of expiration or the day after. I tend to do the day after just to make sure that there's nothing funny going on. Uh, the purple line is controlled by this date. This will let you see how the price or how your P&L should be depending on the price movement by that date. So it's something neat to look at. I only really care about the blue line. Actually, here's your zero. So anytime that your line is above that, you're in profit. Anytime you're below that, you're not. Uh, what I also like to do when I start looking at this, is I like to go click on this three dashes here, click set slices, break even, and then choose your blue graph here. And what this will do is move these lines to where your break even is. And since you're doing that, this little percent up here, we're now let you know that you have a 93% chance of being in profit or 6.7% chance of not being in profit. And since this is a put, we know that if we're above the strike price, we get max profit. So our strike price is 460. Here's 460, and as you can see, we're at max profit. If you look at this blue number here, that's telling you the price, your, your profit based on where you're looking at the price of the stock. Once we are below 460, we start to lose money until we get to the break even. And we have this little cushion here, and that's the size of your the premium that you received. So 460 minus 310 should be 456.83. So as long as we're above that, we make money on this trade. And as you know, with the put here, like our downside is undefined, so you could lose a lot of money. So now what if I wanted to, you know, alter this uh, downside risk? Well, I can go in here and add a second trade to this to look at. I'm going to do that right now by clicking Add Simulated Trades. I'm going to choose the same date that I did. And we sold the 460. So I'm going to say we're a little confident. We're going to do uh, 20 wide here just as an example. So I'm going to click Buy. Put this down to one contract. And then just to set up something else I'm going to talk about later, I'm going to put up a couple more here. We're going to sell this guy and buy this guy. And I should really go in and change the default contracts. I don't have to do this every time. And then to get back to where we were, you're going to be in the Analyze tab and then click Risk Profile. I'm going to take off the call side that we just put on. and we're, Now we have a put spread. We sold the 460, we bought the 440 put. 
I'm going to come over here, update my break even. And so now you can see, now that we're paying out premium, our break even point has gone up a little bit because we paid out a buck 98 to buy the protection to the downside. So now we can quickly see where our max profit is. Your max profit is wherever this line is flat, usually. And then as you hover down here, you can see you start losing money all the way until you get to your max loss, which is only 1888. And what that is is because you receive premium from selling the short. And your risk would be the difference between the strike prices. So here, 20 bucks here, you know, 460 minus 440, 20 times 100 is 2000. But we, we have a net credit here of like a dollar something here. So that's why our max loss is only 1888, even though technically our max risk is 2000. So that's the put side. And let's say we will look at the call side. Can you predict how this will work? We saw the call side. All right, so we updated the the break-even point. And similar to the put of the call, it's just you want to be under your strike price. So 560, it gets you max profit. Above it, same thing as the put side. You start losing money until you get to your break-even. And then we continue going down. If you want to do a strangle, what this is is when you sell a call and you sell a put, People do this because you don't need to have the margin for both sides of the trade because your broker knows you can't lose both your put and the call. And if you look at the put compared to what we were at before, you can see our break even is going to be in a better position because we received that call credit. So 455 because we received an extra buck 46 from the call side. So that's how you can get your break even on one side further is by selling the opposite of the trade. So if you're selling a put, you can also sell a call and you don't have to use more buying power because of that. And let's say you're not happy. You don't really like doing calls. You don't like having infinite risk to both sides and you're bullish on Netflix. Well, you can buy the call against it. And if you look at it, you now have a max loss to the upside. If I hover my mouse over here in the bottom left corner, you can see my max loss to the upside is only 672. But on the left side, on the downside, I still have that infinite loss. I think this is actually called a jaded lizard. And if you want to make this an iron condor, that's when you have a credit spread and a put spread on both sides. Here's what that could look like. And because you're giving up more premium to buy the put side, you can see your max loss over here is up. And it's, the difference is the price that you paid here. So what you're doing is just creating a different risk profile by doing a combination of calls and puts. And what's neat about some of these... Okay, and going back to the Jaded Lizard, What's really cool about this is if you collect enough premium from your, your short side, you can make your max loss on the upside a profit. So I'm going to say we played a little closer to the money here, so 490. So, sorry, 490. Yep, so that's definitely going to do it, that's for sure. Go back to our analyze. And we saw that this was going to be about 10 bucks. Put that in. And even though it's not much, you can now see like your max loss on your upside is a gain of 18, but you still have your undefined loss on the downside. So anyway, what's neat about this is you can go in here and put in as many legs of trades as you want. You can put in stock to simulate a covered call position and just kind of work through it and see, like, what if I add this? Well, where would my break-even price be? And then what's also nice about that is you can see what your probability of profit is as you put that in.
if you're on uh, Retire with Options Discord and you see someone post some crazy amount of trades on one stock and you don't know what they're actually trying to do, come in here, add your simulated trades, add all the legs, and you can see what the risk reward profile is and see what the percent profit is. Like This is a very useful tool. It's going to help you learn how these options move over time. So what I suggest doing is like getting a hold of this platform and using this because it helps you visualize how these options behave. In the end, it's all just combinations of calls and puts being put on together to create different risk profiles. And what I would suggest doing is come up with a trade that you want to do. See what happens if you add another contract. Like what if you buy protection underneath it? What if you buy protection above it? How was that trade behave? So it's just a great learning tool. Use it. It's available to you basically for free. I think you'd do it on the paper account with Ameritrade. If not, put five bucks in an account and then you have this. And It's a great learning resource. Can't stress that enough. And with all that said, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. I am not a financial advisor. Any information included in this video is for informational and entertainment purposes only. It is not intended to be investment advice. Please seek a licensed professional for investment, tax, or legal advice.